We started in the first week of February. Uh, we had 25 members the first week. We now have 180 members and each week we probably uh, have 50 members who, who come and use the pantry. The funding that we receive enables us to buy um, chiller cabinet, a freezer, storage uh, shelving and also enabled us to become part of the Your Local Pantry franchise. People come from lots of different backgrounds. They're telling us that it's a real godsend to them because um, it's enabling them to put money to, towards other things like their fuel bills. When we were introduced to the idea of, of running a pantry here, um, it was an answer to prayer. Um, I've been praying for an opportunity to reach out to our local community and this presented us with it. Each week we have somebody from Citizens Advice who's available to um, speak to people. We have a uniform exchange, we have books that for a small price people can buy. What's been really good is that people have brought things in and each week people come and they add to it and we get donations from people um, in the community. I've been coming to the pantry since it opened, so it's probably about seven months now. Um, it's great for me. I've got two young sons, um, one who's autistic and is never out the fridge. Um, I only work part-time due to his needs, um, so income's difficult. I know that every Wednesday for four pounds, um, I can get a bag of food to keep my family going till the weekend, um, equating to the cost of £20. And so the pantry gives me peace of mind um, and also helps me top up that fridge the weekend, um, you know, and, and keep my family fed. As a nurse, the cost of living crisis is particularly pertinent to my house um, and my family. Um, so I would recommend that if you've got a food pantry near to you, um, anybody, uh, can use it especially to help them um, with the current cost of living crisis. We do provide other services as well so two of us have been trained in um, giving out uh, fuel vouchers so that's for people who've got no fuel at all or are virtually running out um, so we can do that um, and that might be somebody who's suddenly said to us well I can't cook because I've got no cooking facilities or it may be somebody who's been referred from the CAB. I think this is making the church come to life for some of these people. I think otherwise it's just a building and I think now they're coming in and they're meeting people who belong to the church. Maybe they're seeing us in a different light. Um, and I think they, they think it begin to think of it as more as their church. Whereas before I think it's just been a building that they've walked past. A fantastic concept, concept for that work of kindness because I think if we've got, got an experience that we could share with somebody else, um, we have actually had um, people from another local church who came and asked us about what it involved and I think they are hoping that they are going to then set up a pantry in their local community.